Hey guys, let's chat a little bit about how your work from home routine has changed since COVID-19. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Jay Stone and I'm an entrepreneur, been in business 18 years and let's chat. Okay. So if you're practicing the self-distancing, working, working from home, then it's safe to say that you are spending a lot more time in the house than you are accustomed to. And how does that affect our workflow, our productivity, and our separation of our personal and business life? So it's probably wreaking havoc on all of those things. So how do we fix it, right? So um, let's talk about that. So the first thing I want to say is you've got to be really comfortable, number one, setting boundaries, right? Setting boundaries. And so that means sitting down with your friends, your family, whomever, and having a conversation about the work space that you need. So whatever your workspace is, most of us have an office or a desk or work area set up. You need to stick to that work area and you need to explain that that work area is off limits. It's almost like closing the door to your office back when you were in corporate America or putting a sign on your cube back when you were in corporate America. You've got to set up that space. You make the mistake of working in the in your kitchen with, so you can keep up with the kids or working in your bedroom and things like that. And that doesn't clearly create those physical boundaries that people need to understand I'm working or I'm not working. Right. So you've got to have the space. Number one, set aside the space and work in that space. That's going to create discipline for you and for your family members. Okay, to create the spaces and the boundaries. Right. The next thing is work hours. You need to have work hours hours, meaning um, they may not be the traditional hours like nine to five or eight to two. It may not be like that. Right. It may be blocks of time. It may be from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then the kids are up and you work with them from eight to noon. And then again, from two to four, you can create blocks of time, be creative with it. But when you're work, when you have work time, just know that that's work time and you have to train and and create discipline for those members of your family so that they understand, do not interrupt my work time, my productivity time. Now, for those of you who are having small kids who can't quite understand um, the time frame and the boundaries. If there's no adult or older kid to help you manage that, then you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to get up three, two, three, four, five hours earlier when they're still asleep to get a lot of work done so that during the day you can dedicate your time to them. So that's if you have kids with special needs, if you have small kids who can't understand, if you have kids that are kind of, you know, rambunctious and they're like, yeah, I don't care about the boundaries, then you have to figure out a totally different work schedule. So it might be when they're going to, when they're sleep in the morning or when they go to bed at night, those might be your productive times. Okay. Then, the, but make sure, make sure that you are getting enough sleep. So number one, workspaces. Number two, work hours. You have to have it. And number three, you're going to have to set specific goals. Like this is my goal to get done today. Okay. Or this is my goal to get done this week. So you have to have those priorities. So the way that we work in my company is we have priority ratings. Okay. So P1 is priority one, P2 is priority two, three, four. And then we actually have something called P1A, which is urgent. Okay, that means that it has to be accomplished in a couple of hours. So rate your to-do list, P1A, P1, P2, 3, and 4. Okay, P1A, first couple of hours, P1 within 24 hours. Okay, the P2s have to be done within 72 hours. P3s have to be done within the same week or two weeks, whatever you want to set your time frame up. And then P4 is things that need to get done, but they kind of go on the back burner and you do them as you have time. Okay. So that's how it works. So the three things I'm going to tell you to do one, set up your space. Okay. And make sure that the space is contained and that there's boundaries. Number two, you want to uh, set up times, work hours, blocks of time, work, if you need to make a shift. And number three, 
prioritize your to-do list. So that's it for me. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Smack that button. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Um, again, I'm Jay Stone, the brand mother, master brand strategist. You can get more content at J-A-I-S-T-O-N-E. That's jstone.com. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.